We have a leadership program that we do every year. Just about every week we get together as a school to talk about um, various leadership topics, whether it's personal growth um, or something like that. But we always try to touch on topics that are really important, maybe a little heavier for kids, whether it's related to drug use or something like this, uh, sex trafficking. Um, mainly because we think it's really important for our students to be aware of what's going on, whether or not they're going to interact directly with it or not. So what happened in about 2008, this what I call evil triad again, street gangs, prison gangs and cartels decided to move child sex trafficking into their menu. Because you can sell a girl over and over and over again and when you sell a narcotic, the product is gone. I think the biggest thing that the kids get from it is just to kind of demystify it a little bit so that they recognize, hey, this is something that's happening. We kind of have a split demographic. Many of them come from really great families. You know, their parents know where they're at all times, things like that. But then we have another group of kids that, are, that um, maybe might be more likely to become a victim of something like this, to fall into the wrong crowd, to be groomed by, by somebody. And so really the biggest benefit for our students is just to open all their eyes, like just to know what to look for. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children estimates at any one time, right now there's 300,000 missing children in the United States. You can look that up at missingkids.org. But Dr. Carpenter's study from University of San Diego states that there's a minimum of 30% of these missing runaway girls being trafficked, which if you do the math, you all are mathematicians, right? How many girls is that right now as I'm speaking that are being trafficked? 100,000. The same study indicates that in every public school, junior and senior high school in San Diego County, there's a recruiter from a gang for girls for trafficking. My biggest piece of advice would be to keep your kids off of social media, period. End of discussion. And there's no reason for a high school student to be involved in social media, and even more so uh, a young girl and a young boy for that, uh, while their brains are maturing and their, their, their brains are creating sort of reward systems. Um, every time they're on their phone, they're getting a hit of dopamine. And um, just like becoming addicted to any other substance that, that gives that to them, they will become addicted to the, the response that they get on social media, which is exactly, in this case, is exactly what these young men are looking for to be able to play off of that. But first of all, we just want to thank you guys for being here. Um, we have a group on campus called Limitless and it's a it's a girls group and they held an event here last saturday to raise money uh, for your organization and so a couple of them would like to come up and is dr harrell are you going to come up too okay cool and dr harrell's gonna so they're gonna you guys can go ahead and come on up now too and they um so they raised money to donate to your organization so go ahead and go i don't need to be in the picture there you go so they held a self-defense class on Saturday for girls and women, and uh, it was well attended, and they raised a bunch of money for your organization. <laughs>